things, this city is really beautiful, one of the most underrated capitals in Balkan, especially in Europe. But in danger of The radio station. It or not, it's almost 4 p.m. and it's getting dark, almost dark in Pristina. But we are still going to explore the Pedonai or the main promenade street where you can walk or have a coffee or have a drink or have something to eat. And also, behind me is the Skanderbeg Square. So you have two Skanderbeg Square in one in Tirana, one in Pristina, two in total. So. If you walk around the city, you will find in every corner crimes and memorials for the Serbian crimes that have been against the population, Albanian population in the time, and also uh, Albanian leaders that have been killed or somewhat that they don't live anymore. So they are like memorials, a lot of memorials in Pristina. This is probably for me the most heart touching moment I love this city. So the plan is easy, drink something, probably eat something and yeah. then I rest in the hotel and edit, do some work, online work and yeah, that's all. <laughs> it's easy as that, but my heart is full today and yeah, so happy to be in Pristina. And right now is another statue on memorial of Mother Teresa. The famous Albanian humanitarian in the whole world. She has been born in Skopje, Skuk, that nowadays belongs to North Macedonia. But Albanian descendant before has been it under Albanian territory. So just imagine how injustice for Albanians in this world. Mind blowing. But we are here to enjoy the travel, the trip, and to enjoy Pristina as much as we can. Yeah, have some very strong points and the lifestyle here is super cool the people are super cool super modern and the youth is they are really nice people actually and one thing that i want to say is that the hospitality is on point <laughs> over here or this area have the name Zaypalia city in the honor of one of the or main generals in the Kosovo war in Kosovo Serbian war which yeah. got dead and lost his life in the war a lot of emotions actually this is a slow vlog I can do it more Every Albania in this city have so much bad memories actually. I'm not filming that much or I'm not doing a very long uh, film because the temperature is 2 degrees, I don't have gloves and my hands are freezing so sometimes I put under my coat the hands so this is the reason I'm not filming a lot. the radio station over there and the symbol is Liriaka M, the freedom have a name and it's called you T don't have a T in English it's like a C K and there is the cathedral because also have an orthodox community or better say Serbian community but also I have been I'm been and I'm half and half three half I'm orthodox and one quarter three quarter I'm orthodox in the quarter, I'm Muslim, so... Yeah. And this is the National Library of Kosovo, one of the most futuristic, probably a bit strange, but super unique designs. Yeah, the Library of Kosovo. This is a must, if you come to Pristina, you have to see this building because it's really unique and a really beautiful site. And yeah, I want to go also to Newborn, before getting totally dark. And offer like parks, green areas, also a lot of buildings and restaurants. And you have a, a lot of things to choose. At the night it comes alive when the youth and the young people go out and drink something or in different clubs.
thing that I like that I haven't seen in a lot of cities is that underground have restaurants and shops. The restaurants on the rooftop have like green spaces, grass, and it creates like a beautiful greenery and scenery. Which is the scenery it looks okay. It looks give more space to the center. Of Look, there is the club, and this is like a green area. Here I have like chestnuts. Okay, I'm there. See what? Here, here, here. Here, here. Here, here. Here, here. Here, here. Here, here. Here, Warm chestnut in a cold weather. That's nice. Don't know. Probably I wear a little bit tired from the prison and the traveling. And today I sleep till almost 12 o'clock in the morning. And yeah, that's the reason I start vlogging late. Yeah, I still can explore the Pristina city and show to you what this city can offer. This is one of the symbols that has been. A symbol in the last 15 years since the Kosovo gained independence from 2018. Sorry for 2008. And this is like newborn. It's a newborn country. It's not a country that hasn't existed. This is one of the oldest countries in Europe. But the truth is that it's getting reborn and it's getting alive after the gaining the independence. So after the Serbian occupation go and now they are a free country. Kosovo, basically they are Albanian people. For me and basically, I think for all Albanians it would be much better if this country was part of Albania. But in this reality that it isn't, it's better to be free. Just behind and that, just a second. Yeah, that's a photo of Adem Yashari, probably the biggest general and commander of the nation or of the National Liberation Army in Kosovo. It's Albanian, of course, but yeah, he is one of the biggest and the biggest f figure, the biggest leader. The youth of this country should know better and should know that how much the, the people have sacrificed and now they are free, they need to do better than things that probably have happened in Albania. <laughs> yeah, now it is the time that the city really comes alive. I'm just going, for the moment, I think I'm going to eat something guys because yeah haven't eat I have eat just a sandwich before and I need to eat something it's like a late lunch let's say it's not like a late lunch lunch it's like an early dinner basically it's around 7 p.m. 6 and 6 30 7 p.m. and yeah let's go eat something let's go order first I go for easy for the day. So, so I go for a cheese burger because I wanted uh, I wanted to eat some traditional food that basically most of the traditional food has been a little bit spicy in Kosovo. So I go for an easy thing, just a cheese burger, and yeah, that's all. So something I didn't and haven't seen before. It was like this device, in, not in other countries. And if you order, you see this is the order number. And when you and when the order is ready, this uh, beep they make a noise and beep. what is something new and I have never seen in any other countries. The only mistake I did this trip is that I broke the sliders of the drone and yeah. I can't go, I can't get out the drone. This is upset, but without it, it's still so beautiful. And now getting back to the room, and the city has really come alive now. It's uh, around 8 p.m. Beautiful city, beautiful life, beautiful people, and really hospitable. That is the best thing. Oh, yeah. Love in Pristina. Good morning from another day in Pristina and yeah it's a very it's a really cold day because it's zero degrees and winter day and yesterday I wasn't feeling that good so I didn't film a lot I have arrived yesterday in Pristina for but never didn't uh, 
but didn't block a lot and today it's like 12 a.m. now 12 p.m. 12 o'clock let's say and I still haven't got out because I was so lazy and not feeling that good but now we will go out to explore Pristina and yeah this is the hotel I'm staying actually the location of this hotel is perfect because it's right in the center of the city but the view don't have a lot of view because yeah it's around the it's surrounded by other buildings uh, but yeah the location was perfect and the room inside I didn't give give you a room tour yesterday I as I said I wasn't in a good mood and I wasn't feeling that good but I will give you today a room tour and I paid for this like uh, really cheap price so I highly recommend for Lula Hotel sorry this is good so now I'm out and I am to a place that is called the Plaza of Adem Yashari and if you don't know already I have to explain to you who is Adem Yashari who has been the biggest general of the uh, Kosovo war and yeah, he has been, he and his family has been that I hope in the next series I will go to the other I hope I can go to a very special place and that you will I'm absolutely sure that you will go to love that video because the history and the travel behind that is absolutely amazing but uh, yeah, for the moment I'm going to explore a little bit more of Pristina and then go to the some more public and uh, popular places for drinks and coffee and etc. But first we need to drink a coffee because it's almost 1 p.m. now, <laughs> 1 o'clock and I have not drink a coffee oh, yet. Yeah. It's Sunday and uh, the streets of Pristina is, are almost empty for the moment. It's also the, not the, probably not the best time of the day because I'm sure that later the city will come alive but for the moment don't have a lot of places and in Pristina wherever you go you will find like uh, symbols and posters for, for the Albanian generals that have been uh, in the war and yeah uh, the person that I was showing you in the camera right now it's a symbol and it says where is Duxinote? Duxinote has been one of the biggest leaders of the Albanian uh, movement in Kosovo or in Dardania region let's say and yeah he have more or less three decades that have been uh, kidnapped let's say or disappearing from the UDB or the secret service of Yugoslavia in that time and still have no no information where he is actually and yeah it's mind-blowing of course that he I hope he is not anymore alive, but uh, yeah, this is what has happened to the main figure of Albanian movement in Kosovo, and unfortunately. In my left here is the Ibrahim Rugova statue, and this is, let's say this is the creator of the democratic state of Kosovo, basically, which is, for me, it's the same Albania, Kosovo, but yeah. And I really love the space, the green spaces and the space that have between the buildings. This city is really beautiful, one of the most underrated capitals in Balkan, especially in Europe. We have the Skanderbeg mon monument here, which is the Albanian, probably one of the biggest leaders and biggest figures in Albania. Yeah, later after I finish coffee, I will go to a store that they told me uh, I can find some drone helix or fighters because they are broken to me and I hope I can operate the drone but even if I don't I'm sorry for the thing I get printed <laughs> They're good children in Kosovo. I have a lot of them actually in Kosovo, in Albania, also in Balkan. Most of them are from Rome community or... Yeah, it's not a good thing, but they are so young and they are obsessed. They are obligated to do better. Better avoid them or you can help if you can help. If you can help, it's okay. 